We're at uh, Freescale here at uh, Computex 2011. Uh, this is a special e-reader. That's right. This is actually a demo unit produced by Tyco Electronics to prove out some new touch technology called Acoustic Pulse Recognition, or APR technology. So what we have here is a touch screen where there's no overlay. It's actually listening to the top of the screen. So we have little microphones in the bezel that allows the system to listen to my gestures and I'm able to manipulate that. The advantage is there is that there's no overlay on top of the screen so there's as much contrast as possible so as compared to a resistive overlay. In addition, not demonstrated by this design, but you can do a bevelless design where there's no need for anything around the edges. No need. No need at all. So you can yeah. truly do a new industrial design that's not available on e-readers today with touch technology. So that's not the first touch technology. There's been a few now. There's been like on top of e-ink. Well, we've seen like in this Sony reader here, there's IR technology. And that's uh, proven to work, it's on the market. So this is a production ready e-reader with IR technology, so absolutely. And uh, there they have some uh, IR all the way around. Or so you have an infrared sides. sensor that you're basically breaking when you put your finger down and the XY coordinates are red. So which one of these two is the best? It all depends on what you want to do. I think for simple gestures and control, the APR technology has a lot. For more precise um, handwriting and things like that, I think the IR has a lot. So is, is there is some, what's it called, uh, the precision is a little bit less here or something? Well, I, I think they'll work on it to where it will be very similar to IR technology. But it's good enough to, to pick but a word for, at every but point. For, but for selection, for control, things like that, it's absolutely appropriate. And it uses our i.mx508 technology, so has the power of the Cortex-A8 to do the math to determine where the pressure is, and then still remain at very low power. Are there any IMX508 products in the market yet? Well, we have partners that have released a couple solutions, yes. They are actually in the stores? So that they're, they have been announced as will be available for sale. And uh, Kobo announced something recently, but it's not this one, right? Correct. This is the previous generation Kobo, which uses an i.mx35 processor. And the new one? The, the new one actually, I think, has been torn down. If you looked for a Kobo e-reader and look at a teardown, it would show an i.mx508 processor. 508? Yes. So it's just about to come with these kinds of so new touch, touch uh, even Android. Absolutely. There, there, Android are, there are customers that are developing with Android right now. So what, what did they do with the Android? It's not the I, normal Android. I, I think it's, it's just similar to the Barnes & Noble Nook, which is on the market right now. Android won't necessarily be exposed, but Android is so popular that there are a lot of developers available that use Android. And you got to think in the future you might open an e-reader app store that could be you know, used on an e-reader. And it's easier to add apps. Exactly. An RSS reader, a news reader, all these things. Exactly. It, if, if you changed or made those apps for e, for the for the screen, the the, the um, characteristics of the and screen. And it comes with a nice browser, Android. Right? Correct. It, it, it does. Now, now exposing that browser is going to be a challenge for any sort of EPD technology right now because we're still at about eight hertz, whereas browsers are developed for a sixty hertz world. Alright, so how soon are products actually with this technology in the market? So right now, we're, it's more in a demonstration stage. You know, TE Connectivity is trying to find customers. None of the customers have been announced, so it's not my place to say that. But I would think that um, by the end of this year, they could be available. End of this year. Alright, thanks. thanks.